what is up guys welcome back to another daily build video this time we're checking out the dodge charger tusk edition tusk ring brothers tusk something about a tusk on this particular car anyways let's go all right so this one for me is a little bit difficult to explain the car is fast it's got insane acceleration it's got pretty good top speed like you know definitely good enough it's not like hurricane top speed but it's good enough and it does fine in the corners like it doesn't oversteer too much it doesn't understeer too much the suspension is set up pretty well just slight adjustments that i made with pro settings but where i really struggle with this car is in the gutters it feels a little bit inconsistent to me now this may be different if you're on direct mode simji and i were talking while we were testing these cars and he had a great time in the gutters and i did not and i'm not saying that it's bad at guttering i don't think it's bad at guttering although when you get to the grand race which i filmed before doing all of my pro settings and tests it i i was complaining about the gutters so just fair warning there but anyway, I just don't think it's it's not great in the gutters. Like it doesn't like keep you in the gutter. The car doesn't want to keep you in the gutter. It like pulls you into it at first and then it's up to you to keep yourself there. And I feel like the steering like it's just not responsive enough. The steering response is just not there while in the gutter, which it usually is with other cars. So you have to be more aggressive with your steering while in the gutter. It has to like really settle into the gutter before you start making movements either in or out of that gutter. It's, it's very, I don't know, it's very strange. And I'm definitely open to some criticism uh, in the comments. You guys tell me what your experience is with this car in the gutters. But for me, this is the biggest change because SimG actually felt like it was fairly decent in the gutter. Now it's not like F40 level, like completely magnetized to the gutter, but he actually felt like it was actually pretty good. So anyways, I'm open to hearing what you guys have to say. But that's where it struggles the most now in terms of test times it actually runs a pretty good time it's a 215 on Cayusha, which is kind of good i mean it's 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 good it's not it's not like top tier i have some cars that'll run a 12 but it's it's definitely good it's definitely good so um this is a car that i think is super viable in the grand races it really is going to take a little bit of getting used to and for sure the tune matters uh it's day and night driving this car with no tune on it no camber no arbs is so different from you know full tens on arbs and you know minus 25 on camera so anyways here's the tune and then i'll show you the grand race that i already recorded uh before doing this all right for the brake balance we're at the stock 40 percent or 60 percent towards the front if we go down into the suspension this is where i made a bunch of changes uh spring front and rear plus 10 plus eight for the compression front and rear, and then minus five for the rebound front and rear. For the anti-roll bars, we're at plus 10 on both. For the camber, we're at minus 0.25 on both. That gives us lateral G-stat of 1.36, braking of 18.3, acceleration 2.87, and then uh, top speed of 224, which is you know fairly normal for Street 2, even though it actually gets up into the 30s. So the 230s. Anyways, enjoy the grand races and uh, yeah, it's uh it's interesting what happens in this grand race <laughs> enjoy all right here we go dude we got monster then racing and then that charger tusk edition Let's see what we can do man really got to cross our fingers here with the monster truck starts starting six so that's pretty good news for me beach route This one is easy to get tangled. Monster trucks have a lot of air control and there's a lot of like little, little bumps and things that cause you to get air. So it's easy to mess this up. Oh, that was rough. Feel bad for that guy. A boat, dude! A boat! 
I did not think I was going to be hitting a boat at all during the race. My God, dude. We just got to stick with it here. See if we can make a comeback. Oh my gosh, that's annoying. Monster Truck is incredibly stable through that section. Didn't expect that at all. Alright, we're not too far behind. We just... Gotta not make any more mistakes at all. I'm trying to get this dub. Come on, Scorpio. Wheels are locked. Let's go, dude. Come on, dude. Why is your car so slow? Why are you in the Hummer? Man, that delayed me a little bit trying to get around. I really wanted to slipstream with light xp but it is what it is no that's what you get oh man he's on the other side of the wall dude that's not where you should be go ahead light I kind of saw that coming. T50. King of grip and gutters. Can I catch up? I feel like I've raced battles before and I don't think he's bad enough for me to catch after a big mistake like I had and with no slip. So we're just going to do our best and uh, see how we can, you know, how we can fare in the, in the charger when we get to it. Yeah, the T-50 is just glued to the ground. It is so nice, dude. Going a little crazy with the NOS, though. Let's just chill. Let it recover. I'm really anxious. I want to get back to Slipstream, dude. At least a slipstream. Not bad, not bad. We kept decent speed going through there. Street tier two coming up. We got to catch elusive canine. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. I was going into that so hot. Wow. Let's see how this thing likes gutters. Oh, I had to slow down a lot for that one. All right, it doesn't want to sit in the gutter. I got to remember this isn't a race car. Oh, it doesn't like gutters at all.
It just doesn't it just doesn't hook at all. This is a terrible course for the car. Dude, it just doesn't want to sit in the gutter. I'm trying so hard. It's got such good acceleration though. It just does not want to turn. I think because of the acceleration, it really just doesn't matter too much that it doesn't want to sit in the gutter. Back's a little bit wild, not terrible. I'm shooting this grand race before I did my pro settings and tests. So we're finding out everything for the first time here. Yeah, it just really doesn't like gutters. A little bit of drift there. We are coming to the end. It's got some decent speed. Not terrible. GG's to battles. And uh, Careless Gorilla and Elusive Canine. Nicely done, guys. If only I just didn't have that terrible transition, I think I would have caught Elusive. And we could have had a, you know, a nice little fight for third place. What do I think about this Tusk Edition? Well, from this one race, the car does not like gutters at all. So this was a terrible course for me to try to do it on. It just really hates them. Uh, aside from that, it's, uh, it accelerates really, really well. It handles okay. Like it doesn't, you know, slide. Look at everybody's using it though. Everybody's using it. It was terrible for gutters. Terrible. And it could just be me though. It could just be me. But I guess I'm used to the F40 when it comes to gutters. The F40 is the gutter king in street two. So it is what it is, man. The car is decent. It's, it's definitely fast. It's definitely fast. I just don't know about its handling. We're going to have to keep testing it and uh, see how it does, man. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate it. And uh, enjoy the tune. I'll catch you on the next one. Trigger out.